This is a short video uh, explaining the literary term in media res, which we're going to be working with this week. And this might sound familiar because we did talk about and write a definition for this term way back at the beginning of the year when we took our long set of notes on 12 uh, literary devices. So I'm going to just go back over it and talk a little bit about what it has to do with the Odyssey um, because we're going to be starting that book this week and it uh, begins in media rest. So that term is Latin for in the middle of things. That's what it translates to. Um, and it's basically a storytelling technique where the story starts in the middle of the action. That's how the author chooses to start. It makes things a little more interesting because you have some questions in your mind as a reader or viewer if the story starts in the middle versus at the natural beginning. So exposition is filled in through flashbacks uh, or dialogue or a description of past events. There are several different ways to do that. I thought that this was a good visual image of in media res if the story is the timeline below the falling figure from the beginning at the left to the end at the right. Um, it is like dropping you into the middle without much explanation and then looping around to um, review somehow what has happened in the past. And then at some point you're going to loop all the way back around to where you were originally dropped in and then the story will continue forward from that point. In the Odyssey by Homer, uh, it begins in media res, and because the Odyssey is the story of Odysseus's journey home from the Trojan War, uh, you might expect the story to start as he leaves the Trojan War and heads out for home, but Homer actually began telling the story as Odysseus is trapped on Calypso's island many years into his journey. So then the story at some point flashes back to the end of the Trojan War with Odysseus actually telling the story of how he reached Calypso's island and what he went through from the end of the war up, into the, up until that point. After he finishes telling that story about the first part of his journey, the story will begin, you, begin in real time about halfway through the book as Odysseus continues his journey home. So a big, huge portion of the Odyssey is actually told in flashback um, because it has to fill in what happened before Odysseus is trapped with Calypso and um, because it begins in media rest. So what you're doing after listening to this explanation is just answering the question that I have for you um, and brainstorming, thinking up a book you've read, a TV show or a movie you've seen that uses this technique and begins in the middle of the action. Uh, and then just briefly also explain to me how the story fills in the back part. Is it a flashback? Does someone tell the story of what happened before? Uh, is it just filled in through dialogue? Uh, characters talking to each other, the narrator explaining, uh, could be a variety of things. Uh, so think about that, answer the question, and then uh, we will explore in media rest a bit more.